channel. So today's video is going to be an empties video. I've been um, holding on to this bag of trash for like months and months now. And I think it's about time I get rid of it because it's just, it just needs to get out of this room. And um, I've been wanting to do this empties video for a long time, but I was just kind of waiting to collect a couple more items or collect enough items to where it'd be worth making a video. So if you guys don't know what an empties video is, it's basically like mini reviews of all the stuff that you've actually used up. I think these videos are super helpful and I love watching these um, because it's things that people actually used all the way and they have a good opinion of whether they like it or not. You know, usually reviews are things people use a couple of times and they kind of get an opinion. But with empties, like you actually used up the whole thing and you are going to know for sure if you like it or not. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's get started. Now the first thing that I'm just going to grab out of here, which is the first thing I see, is these on it. So these are the Equate Beauty Makeup Remover uh, Cleansing like Makeup Wipes. Um, they're comparable to the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. So um, I love these. I get these all the time and these are the main makeup wipes that I use. One because they're affordable. I Sometimes makeup wipes can be kind of expensive and it's like you're gonna get a pack of 20 25 for like eight bucks no thanks these i think are only like five dollars and you get like a, can get a two pack and there's 40 in each package i just really like these because they do stay like moist enough to where it will take off all your makeup and they don't feel dry um i will say the only thing is once you're getting to the bottom of the pack they start to get a little bit of dry but you can just like add a little bit of water and you know use it and it'll work just fine so a really good one so I keep repurchasing these I have two of these in my bathroom right now so these are just good overall makeup wipes I will say though if you have like really sensitive skin I've noticed that sometimes if I go too um, much on my eye area you kind of get like a little you kind of not burn your eyes but um, if you open your eye while you're like rubbing, it will burn your eyes, but I mean, I hope you're not opening your eyes while doing this, but I've done it, so just letting you guys know. So yeah, these are definitely a good one. Now the next item in here, these are the Eyelore Lux Silk Lashes. They're from Eyler. They're the Silk Effects. And they were the Wispies. I don't know if these have a certain name. But this is what the packaging looks like. So um, I'm trying to remember if I really like these or not. I think I did. They were really pretty lashes. Um, the only thing I don't necessarily love about Eyler lashes sometimes is that the band can be a little thick and really uncomfortable. For me, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed when I do like makeup tutorials and stuff that I do have missing eyelashes on this eye to where um, sometimes certain lashes really irritate it and they just don't stay on or I just can't even wear them because it's like poking me so bad. So these are beautiful. I definitely would recommend them. Um, they just are a little bit heavier on the eye if you guys aren't used to wearing lashes. But if you're used to a heavy band, I think you guys really like these. Alright, the next thing in here is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. I love this mascara. I purchased, I think, like two more after this pack. I am using a different uh, mascara right now. I'm, sure. I'm using the It Cosmetics... Um, I forgot what it's called, but I really love that one. But anyways, back to this one. This one's a really good affordable drugstore option. It reminds me a lot of the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. It almost kind of looks like it because it's in like that pink packaging. But I really like this. It really did give me like really long voluminous lashes with just like a coat or two. So this mascara really helps to kind of just build up that volume in them. And you also get length with it as well. And again, drugstore, affordable. Um, if you are wanting to try the Too Faced one, I think this is a good alternative if you guys don't want to spend the money on the Too Faced Better Than Sex. So. I also put in here my Morphe... 
highlight and contour beauty sponge package. I still use these. Um, I got rid of one, but these last you forever. My sister-in-law, not official, she's dating my brother, whatever, but she's been in our lives for a long time. She even compared this next to a regular beauty blender and saw the like how big of a difference it was after she'd cleaned it. Like the Morphe one still looked brand new, and the beauty blender you could tell it had been used. It had stains in it. You know, the Beauty Blender is a great one, but it's $20, and not everybody has money to spend every time $20. So the Morphe Beauty Sponge is only like $7. It's super, super good, and I continue to use this to my day-to-day -day life. So not a regret purchase, such a good sponge, and it's so affordable. So you Jacqueline haters out there, she... She knows her stuff, so I grabbed this because she recommended it, and she wasn't wrong. It was actually a really good brush, or it's a, it's a really good sponge. Alright, the next thing I see in here is my Too Faced um, Hangover RX Primer. I don't even think I finished it. Let me see if there's anything. I did use it up, um, but I'll be honest, I didn't totally love this. I have a lot of texture and large pores, and I felt like this one didn't really give me what I was wanting out of a primer. And now that I read this, it does say it's silicone free, which I prefer primers that have some sort of silicone or, or pore filling ingredient or something. This one was good for like hydrating and you know plumping up the skin but I noticed a couple of times when I was using it that it kind of like broke me out and I wasn't sure if this was what was breaking me out but the more I used it I was noticing like I'd get breakouts and you know pimples and stuff and then I stopped using it and like they went away so this one's not one for me but I've heard other gurus and people that really like this one it's just, for me personally, I did not like it. Now, I have a couple of different brow products that I used up, so I'm going to kind of like mention them all at the same time and give you the pros and cons of all three of these. So I have the MAC Eyebrow Pencil, and then the Anastasia Dip Pomade, or Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. This one I didn't use it all up, but it dried up, so... I just tossed it in the bag. So, out of all of these brow products, um, I do like the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, but I don't use it anymore. I used it a lot when it was like really popular and everybody was like raving about how great it is. It is a great eyebrow product if you're wanting your brows to like really be bold and kind of stay put all day. I will say this does last all, all day. It was kind of hard to work with only because um, if you use too much, you have kind of really, really intense brows and it won't look as natural. Like you can tell that you've painted on your brows or something. And I also didn't really like that it did dry up so fast. Um, you kind of have to either add an oil to this or you know, be, just make sure you shut it all the way um, because it can dry out pretty quick. But I really like that this can last you probably your whole life. I didn't even get to finish it because there's just so much product and a little bit goes a long way. So don't need a lot of this, which is good. It was $18, so I think it is worth the money because it does last you a really long time. The MAC one, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really like it. I used it up because it's MAC and it's expensive. The Anastasia Brow Wisp Pencil is my absolutely favorite pencil I've ever used and that one just like glides on so nicely. It's so easy to work with. It's just like the best brow pencil I've ever used and this MAC one just did not impress me at all. Um, it's just like I said very hard to work with. It seemed really dry to me and I was like tugging on my eyebrow so I wouldn't spend your money on this. It's MAC. There's way more other good affordable pencils out there that kind of have this beat. So 
And that's a good one for me. I didn't realize how much trash I had up in here. Let's go next to this guy. This is the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Face Lotion. I, hands down, I think found one of my Holy Grail face moisturizers. I have a new one on a makeup desk that I use currently. And um, I didn't even get to use up this whole bottle just because um, it is kind of a thicker, lotion-y kind of moisturizer. And so I couldn't get it all out, but I thought it was time to toss it just because, you know, I don't need the down of the residue of all of this. So this one is, um, I got at Walmart. It's also an affordable moisturizer you can get. I love it because even though I have oily skin naturally, I do have dry patches in some areas and this does a really good job of hydrating my um, face without making me feel oily. It's like, just like sinks into your skin so quick. I really, really like this one and I would highly recommend it. So I'm going to talk about this one next. This is completely empty. There's like no trace of anything else in here. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I really like this. Um, it is a really good setting powder. It's lightweight. It really gives you like a flawless under eye because that's why I used it. it was like in this highlighted area. It's just so finely milled to where it doesn't like gather up in your creases. It doesn't feel too heavy to where it like looks cakey or anything. And so I really like this. I haven't repurchased it though. For some reason, I think I need to go buy this again because I've been using some other ones just to try them out. And um, this is by far my favorite so far. All right, we only got two more things, guys. I feel like I've been talking forever and I'm like running out of breath. Okay, NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I used like two or three of these. Oh my God, there's still some in there. I thought it was all gone, but I'm gonna throw it away because it's been in that bag for so long. So, um, another great liner, very affordable. Oh, I know why I threw it away. There's a crack in it. So great liner. It's really, really black, as you guys can see. And it just like glides on so easily. It has a really thin um, applicator to where you can get really, really close to the lash line and kind of get it like, you know, nicely in the inner quarter. Because I know sometimes if you have like too thick of a brush or whatever, it can make a really thick line. This one you can be as thin as you like. Gives you a really good wing. I use this so much. I actually purchased like two more of these. So a great buy. I want to keep buying these until I find another one that I really like. I mean, one negative thing I would say is throughout the day I can notice if I, like, because I have oily lids as well, that by the end of the day sometimes it like transfers into my crease because I like look up a lot and I'm talking to my eyes kind of like crease there a lot so sometimes it'll like, you can see it here throughout the night but I just like go like that and it comes off. So just for like an everyday liner, I would say yes for this. If you're going out for like a party night, definitely would use a more in like super matte one that doesn't like rub off. So and we're on to our last product. It is the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. We got these in our BoxyCharm. At least I did. I know some of you guys get the same products. And I tried these. I don't really ever see a difference with eye mask. I've tried a bunch that like I've gotten sent from BoxyCharm and Ipsy and all of that. And yeah, of course, like, uh, you know, that first initial thing, you feel it, it's nice and moisturized. And, but I don't really see like a difference, difference. But after a few seconds, it's, you know, sunk into your skin and I don't really see it hydrating my under eyes. It says it's to brighten, hydrate, and reduce the appearance of dark circles. I didn't really get any of that. Like, if you had to buy these, I would skip it. I think there's other alternatives you can do. And I don't know how much these were, but I think they were a little bit on the more expensive side. Um, so I, 
I don't know. I just myself didn't see a difference in these, so yeah. Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I like doing these videos. It got me to remember some of the things that I should probably start using again. Like, I need to buy another another of those mascaras and I need to get some more Laura Mercier translucent powder and like I said I've used it up I know my opinion on it so it's just more informative than like a normal review so yeah if you guys have any more suggestions on videos that you'd like me to do um, please leave them down below leave any inspirations or anything you guys want to see me do alright so I hope you guys have a good day I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!